good morning to all the viewers welcome to the third wednesday wellness session from shifa khana i am the founder hakim dr burhanuddin in the second session last week we discussed about the lifestyle disorder and that was diabetes and in this third session today we are going to discuss the same kind of a similar lifestyle disorder which is also very common and uh, very easily found uh and the people suffering from it nowadays and that is hypertension high blood pressure now the basic reason behind the people in large suffering from high blood pressure is the level of intolerance the tolerance level of our are becoming lesser and lesser and that is happening uh, because uh, everything is getting automated everything is uh, getting very easily accessible to us and we don't have that patience to wait for the thing to happen and because of that uh, the anxiety the stress uh, increases of uh, the individual when the things are not happening uh, in the easy way and uh, in a rapid manner so the generation the younger generation is also now very much uh, suffering from this high blood pressure hypertension so in this uh, today's session i would demonstrate three different practices which would help you out to pacify your mind stabilize your mind and uh, regulate your blood pressure in blood pressure basically the important thing what you have to always mark in yourself is the breathing pattern how the inhalation and exhalation is going on and uh, how is the activity of the mind so in this three practices i would like to make you understand that how the breathing works when we uh, do different postures and this these three different practices what i would like to show you today uh, all these three practices are in uh, sitting position so let us start with the first practice i am holding my legs at the buttocks now slowly i bend my body in the front uh, normally this pose is well known as child pose you have to inhale raise your hand exhale bend front slowly you can move your leg behind to get a proper compression of the abdomen and the blood flow in the brain region increases when we reach to the final posture the breathing should be normal in the final posture my both the legs are touching each other you can remain in this posture as per your comfort level and in the beginning if suppose the legs are having a kind of little distance between them then also it is fine but the important thing is that you have to bend in front and you have to relax your head and you have to relax your hands and take some deep breaths and feel the flow of blood inside your brain and pacify and stabilize your mind now in the second posture i am sitting in the same way what i was sitting in the first posture i will make my body to appear like a mountain and that's why this pose is called mountain pose so i am inhaling and raising my hands sideways of the body the palms are facing towards the ground now i am turning my palms towards the sky inhalation is on i'm raising my hands above my head in the shape of a mountain i'm exhaling you can close your eyes in the final posture normal inhalation exhalation deep inhalation exhalation if you can do it's better just try to stabilize your mind focus on the breath and feel the rhythm of the breath inhale and exhale let the lungs get expand let the spinal cord get expand stretch you can practice both the postures as many times as you can inhale exhale inhale exhale after some time you can feel the pain in your shoulders 
but as you practice regularly that pain also goes away again slowly bring your hands down sideways of the body turn the palms towards the ground and bring your hands back on the thighs this is the second posture for regulating your blood pressure now the third breathing practice what i would uh, explain you today uh, the in this we have to focus more on the left nostril in the second session i have already mentioned you that uh, there is a research paper research review paper in the asian pacific journal of health sciences uh, with the title regulation of blood pressure uh, with alternate nostril breathing so that also can be practiced for um, regulating your blood pressure maintaining your blood pressure pacifying your mind stabilizing your mind and even this uh, the other version of breathing what i'm explaining you is a one part of alternate nostril breathing but the focus in this would be more on the left nostril we have to inhale from the left nostril and exhale from the right again inhale from the left and exhale from the right this is also a uh, very commonly uh, known as a left nostril breathing practice okay so let us start i am pressing my right nostril gently and i am inhaling from the left nostril my back is erect shoulder is relaxed head is relaxed i am not bending my body in the front it is erect straight deep inhalation gently closing your left nostril exhalation from the right again closing your right nostril inhalation from the left closing the left exhaling from the right again closing the right inhaling from the left just closing the left exhaling from the right this practice has to be done very slowly and uh, the nostrils has to be pressed very gently it should not be uh, pressed in force and you can repeat as many rounds as you are comfortable and you can uh, just see the difference what comes in the brain area uh, you will feel a kind of a cooling effect in your brain and that's why uh, this uh, practice is also known as chandra bridhan run so with this i would like to uh, end uh, today's session and uh, at the end i would like to advise you all that it's always good to practice diff different kind of practices medical yoga practices uh, what we uh, show in this uh, posts videos uh, it's just a creating awareness for your good health but i advise you to practice under supervision you can also connect with us uh, with the details uh, shown further thank you